Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Do you want to use your favorite Android APK over on your PC? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install one of the best Android emulators on your PC. Come on up. If this is your first time watching a Your6 Studios video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love to show you guys how to do videos and live stream on my channel. To download Knox Player, the first thing we will need to do is open up our web browser. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome right here and pop up my web browser. Now we're going to want to type in www.bignox.com. I'll have a quick link in the description. Also, just enter this URL in right here if you can't see it up top. Let's go ahead and press enter. And right when you enter the web page for BigKnox.com, you're going to have a huge download button right here. Let's go ahead and click that. And it's going to start downloading Knox Player in the bottom left-hand side right here. It's 350 megabytes, so it may take you just a little bit. It's going to take me about 15 more seconds to download this. Knox Player is number one when it comes to playing emulated games on your PC that are Android-based. Let's go ahead and open this up right now. As you can see, it's done. And I'm going to start up Knox Player right now. Now let's go ahead and press the install button right here. And it's going to start installing Knox Player. Now this process, it may take a little bit, two or three minutes here. Okay, it is done installing and downloading here. Let's go ahead and press this big old start button right here. Press and start. And Knox Player is now starting up. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And this is going to go ahead and install the emulator once again. It's going to get everything set up. Uh, as you can see, there's a percentage bar at the bottom here. And it's moving on over to 100%. If you look in the bottom right corner over here, you have the option to go back by pressing this button. And this is our home button. And this is our recent task. So Knox Player, it does come with the Android Store. Anything you want from the Google Play Store, you can go and type it in here. So if you want to get Snapchat, Facebook, any of those popular applications, you can go ahead and just type in here. Let's just type in uh, maybe even Facebook right now. I'll just show you how it pops up. And here's Facebook right here. It's easy peasy. Then when you want to go back, you're going to have to hit the back button on the broad right hand side of the screen or hit the home button. Let's go ahead and do that now. So you do start with a web browser right here. Usually when I pop in and I open up Knox Player for the first time, first thing I want to do is type in Chrome and go ahead and get that web browser. I just like that one a lot. And let's go ahead and install Google Chrome. Installing applications on Knox Player is just like your phone. It's super simple and easy, and it goes by pretty quick. It does want you to type in your email address for your Google account the first time you're going to be using the Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and do that now. No watching. So go ahead, jump in, start downloading your applications that you love from the Google Play Store. Knox Player is extremely great, and I recommend it to you guys. And it will let me know when it's finished. And Google Chrome is added to our desktop here on the home page of Knox Player. So what are my general thoughts and opinions about Knox Player? I recommend it. I like it. There's some things I would like to improve if they would make these um, games on the bottom right. Just a little bit less annoying. Just don't pop up as much and i would recommend this application to everyone um it plays everything i want it looks just like my phone it runs very well there's barely any issues that i have with it and i love using it just a heads up there are ads and there's going to be some product placement here as you can see it's going to have a list of games on the bottom of the screen and those are always going to be there and sometimes they're going to add some games to your home menu here like this king's raid that's always going to be there. It doesn't get too intrusive over time. Once you get used to having those games there, it's not too bad. Knox Player plays games very well. If you're into games like uh, PUBG Mobile, that's very popular in terms of streaming on YouTube. You can go ahead and get that onto your computer. 
One thing that I always thought was weird, it still displays your Wi-Fi signal and your battery and your overall signal to the network. On the top right hand side of the screen, there is a settings option. If we go ahead and click that, we can go ahead and look for updates that are new, launched on startup, root it, soft keys. Also, we can go to advanced settings where we can change our resolution on here, and we can change our performance settings on here if we want to use more uh, cores on our CPU. Also, we have compatibility and graphics rendering modes right here. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can turn off mouse acceleration windows, property settings. We can turn off the network connection on here. Uh, let's go down to interface settings right here. We can force landscape mode and we can change the ordering of our toolbar on the far right hand side of the screen. If we don't like something the way it is, or if we just find something a little bit more convenient in a general setup. Next one is shortcut keys. If we have a particular set of shortcut keys we want to change around, like maybe press the back button for escape, that would be a little bit more convenient than having to go to the bottom right every time and hit the back button manually. So on the top right, we got everything the way we want. I maximized my screen, so it takes up more of my screen here. The top right is shake. The next one will be a configuration scheme. Uh, if you want to play like shooter games, you can drop and drag your crosshairs over here and it will make it a little bit more accurate. Let's get out of that. Let's go to the next one. This will be a virtual location. The next one will be my computer. The next one here is the full screen. We have volume increase, volume decrease, lock the mouse emulator window. Multiple instance manager, macro recorder, add APK file, screenshot, rotate, double finger, menu, restart Android, video recorder, close all apps, controller settings, synchronize operation in all instances, mute manage common functions and here is probably the most useful ones when we're using this back home and recent task if you enjoyed my video on how to install nox player on the pc go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and check out some of the other videos i have coming up next on my channel and to help keep the lights on at your six studios, consider making a donation down below in the description.